Avenue. Didn't think about Hank Williams. When I, when I first got to camp, I had a boy come home and told me all about that, and he played some of the same uh, numbers on his guitar. He could, he could play that guitar better than I was, but I was already playing lead, lead guitar. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll call him up tomorrow and let you talk to him. And so he come back by and he called up, called up Hank and he said, uh, said here, you, you can talk to him. He said, you can, you can tell him whether you, whether you feel like you can cut the mustard with him or not. And so I talked to Hank on the phone from uh, Montgomery to Tampa. I think he called him Click. <laughs> but, no problem. But anyway, he he said, "Well, Hank, told me you're pretty good. Say, say, uh, you, you want to come up here and and uh, try try uh, try uh, working with us." Said uh, the boy, the boy tell the boy that was hit up here, said he he told me you you're pretty good, and uh, so. How long did you play with? He played with him in 1947 and 48. Oh. Mm -hmm. A half a year and a half a year there. Mm -hmm. Hello. But but. Uh, <coughs> Yeah. He he played more uh, all yeah. around Alabama for the band, but the band of uh, the uh, Fred Rose, his manager, mm -hmm. uh, told him that he he no. would, he wouldn't be able to use that band on the records. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of the bass player. I got it. I got it. I'll take it. Uh, one, one of the boys that they went over there. there and tried with him at one time, and uh, yes. and the bass player okay, never. Uh, he just he'd play a little bit and he'd <laughs> miss something and then miss something. I got. I got and uh, pocket. finally, uh, me, me too. Fred Rose okay. right. told him, right. said, "You can't use this." Use this band on this on these records because they ain't they ain't the old thing they won't the cut it. Mm -hmm. So won't they tried and they truck didn't play anything Thanks good. So, so much, so oh, yeah. take them back, take them back to Alabama, and uh, and we can get you. I don't let Donnie take my extra stand. Oh, okay. Regular men. He's not wrapped it up. He's ready. Uh, <laughs> he's ready. Here he's in Nashville, there's a dozen of people just standing around waiting on yeah, it's, a it's job. There. And they are good. They can oh. cut something the one room. time and they've they, got they it They write made. yourself little notes and they can play it like right now. Video. They don't right. take them forever to, to right. learn so something. So Hank, Hank took Fred's... Uh, I think I brought in the old one. Took his name... Uh, we bought one, one of theirs. Took his word, took all the band. That was about, oh, that was about two or three months before I even went with them. So when I was, when I went with them, I didn't get ever get to go on his regular records. They just played with him around Alabama. All these, all our regulars, they was, they was there. And we didn't ever get to go because Fred told him, said, don't never bring no them boys from uh, Montgomery. Said, you can keep them on your, on your bunch and play all around Alabama, but says, don't ever bring, bring them to Nashville because they, they, they didn't cut it. So, so the, uh, when I, I asked Hank on the phone when he was talking to me first from the, he said, uh, I asked Hank, I said, ain't there nobody uh, 
up there and around no, Mark, uh, no more guitar players up there or something they said well it said no said they had two or three of them said I've done tried them out and fired them <laughs> and I said well I didn't know I was even going to get the job when I went up there and uh, when I tuned up with him and got on the he had a radio program at four o'clock every day, 30 minutes. And he said, uh, when he when he come in and they got some tunes and so forth that uh, they wanted to, or Hank wanted to play, and I tuned it. And uh, at first, I stayed at his mama's boarding house. It was just a, a block down the street from the studio. Mm -hmm. So when I went in there the first day, I chimed in with him and everything went all right. So it looked like I was, I was going to be a regular member. So I stayed with him for a year. And, uh, but we only got to play around Alabama. Because yep. uh, Fred Rose had done told, Hank said, don't bring, don't bring nobody uh, from Mount Montgomery. And to Nashville. Said, said we, we got men here that can play around, play around me, rings around them guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> said, said, don't bring nobody in here. Said, we got men here. In Nashville, it can cut it right down the first first time. Mm -hmm. hmm. yeah. What about Lefty from Zale? You played with him a little too? Yeah, uh, just a little. Uh, not very long. Uh, I went uh, worked with him before he ever got a rock uh, record. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Joe could have been on his record except. He could either go with Lefty and put this record, or either he could stay hey. there and make money. He stayed there and made money and didn't get to be on the record. Before. Well, he we wasn't making much money then, but he was making money. Probably $10. And they was, <laughs> that sounds like a Bird Gossip story to me. <laughs> two, two, or three of them, two or three of them went with him to, uh, I think it was Dallas. That was in Big Spring, Texas. Mm -hmm. But uh, a couple of them went with him, and I stayed with uh, one or two of the other guys from down the road. There was uh, guys that... You didn't forget how to do that, huh, Tommy? Anyway, they went with him to, uh, uh, to Dallas, what was the name of that guy that had, had stopped by there and and got lifted to go two or three days and I stayed on at his place with the guys that was, part of them was there and part of them was from out of the band. They had about six or seven guys in that band down the road that I was playing with. Mm -hmm. And I come up to be playing with, with uh, Playing with a couple different bands at the same time. Is the, the name of the place that, that he, that Lefty was playing was Ace of Clubs. Hmm. Really? You were hats. Huh? You were hats. And when, uh, Left to come, come back. He had uh, some discs that he cut while he was gone. That they, they just cut it, mm -hmm. and he, uh, he was playing two or three different places, and and asked, uh, asked the guys to, to go. To go with him if he was going to go several places and Try to get and uh, play thing and he was telling the people at, at these places 
that he just made some records and he was going to be... He thought he was going to go big time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he said, we'll, we'll go with these guys and we'll go around to several places. And uh, that was in... Uh, I never had home off this weekend. In, uh, in Big Spring, Texas. But he went two or three other places. Yeah. When he got back, he wanted to got a, a tell the guys at these places that he just made some records and uh, he was going to be out, out, of the, out on the... out on the town <laughs> when he go two or three of them places. But nobody would, would uh, say much, uh, do much about him because they didn't think he was very good and so on and so on. So he, I, when I went with him to these places, they would, uh, they would hear him, but they didn't think much about him. It, it wasn't like he left it got to be later on. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but after he come back and he got his old job back, I went back down to the to the other place where I'd been working. And I got back in the van. And uh, so I didn't stay with Lefty very long when he got back. Dance to the music fine. If you got the money, honey, I got the time. 